Hello my friend, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have really interesting, tricky and I would say like great algebra question. We know that the sum x plus y equal to 12 and a product x, y equal to 30. We need to solve this question for x and y, so if you have your solution, if you're interested in that, you can also solve this question with me right now and then we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, from, from this first equation, x plus y equal to 12, let's express our y. <clears throat> okay, so let's do it. So our y equal to 12 minus x, okay, 12 minus x. And right now we have the same y in the second equation, but let's plug in, not like, uh, we're not gonna plug in y, we're gonna plug in this 12 minus x instead of this y. So let's plug in this expression to the second equation, okay? Let's do it. So we have x times, instead of this y, we plug in 12 minus x. So we have 12 minus x equal to, equal to 30. <clears throat> okay, I hope you understand it. Right now let's simplify this expression and it's much easier for us to work with one variable and we have exactly that case. We have only one variable. So we don't have y, we have only x. So in this equation we can find, we can solve it for, for x. So we have 12x, yeah, if we multiply this x by this parenthesis, 12x minus x square and equal to, equal to 30. And this is a quadratic equation. Yeah, we have a square, we have x, we have a constant, but we prefer a little bit different, <clears throat> a little bit different order. So we have minus x square plus 12x minus 30 and equal to zero. Okay, we change in order a little bit and in the end, let's multiply both sides by <clears throat> by minus one. Okay, because we have a negative sign and we don't like it, we prefer a classic order of signs. Right here we prefer positive, yeah? So we have x square <clears throat> minus 12x and plus 30 plus 30 equal to <clears throat> equal to zero. Okay, this is a classic quadratic equation, so that's why <clears throat> Let's solve it. Uh, of course, this is up to you. I prefer solving this uh, quadratic equation with a basic method of coefficients. So from here, a equal to 1. Yeah, the first coefficients from here equal to 1. Second coefficient equal to minus 12. So b equal to minus 12. And c equal to 30. So c equal to equal to 30, the third coefficient. And right now let's solve, let's, uh, solve our, let's find our discriminant. So this d equal to b square minus 4ac. Okay, let's plug in everything. We know everything from here. So b square, so minus 12 square, minus 12 square, minus 4ac, minus 4 times 1 and times 30, times 1 and times 30. Okay, we can simplify this. Minus 12 square equal to 144, 144, yes, this is our table case minus 120, minus 120, and equal to, right here we have 24, and our discriminant is greater than zero, and it's really great news for us, because at this branch, we will have two real, real numbers. In our case, we have x first and x and x second. So that's why we, we find it. We solve it for x first and x second equal to. So we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over, all over 2a. Yeah, this is our all known formula. And right now let's plug in everything from this from this spot. We know everything. So minus b minus b equal to minus 12, minus 12 plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of 24, and all over 2 times 1, 2a, 2 times 1. Right now, uh, these two negative signs, uh, this is our positive. We have a minus minus 12 equal to uh, 12. Yeah, we have two negative signs. If you multiply it, we have positive. So we have 12 plus minus, square root of 24 equal to, uh, this is not a table case, and there are a lot of ways how can we simplify it, but the best way is to express this 24 as 4 times 6. Okay, let's do it. Let's express as 4 times 6 and all over 2. And a lot of students might be asking why 4 times 6, not like 12 times 2. And here is a quick trick, because right here we can split it. We can write it as, as we can write as 12 plus minus. So this one we can write as square root of 4, times square root of 6. Okay, we can split it, we can write it um, as a multiplication of two square, root, square roots, yeah, and all over, all over to end. Of course, right now you can see why 4 and 6 are a great expressions for us, because, for example, you express this 24 as 2 times 12, okay? You can't, um, you can't find any of these square roots, these are not table case, but right here, square root of 4 equal to 2, so we simplify this a little bit. So we have 12 plus minus 2 square root of 6, 2 square root of 6, all over, all over 2. 
Great. And in the end, my quick recommendation, we're going to factor our 2 from our numerator, we can do it. So we have 6 plus minus square root of 6 and all over, all over 2. And why, why do I factor it? Because right here we can easily cancel and these uh, expressions, cancel these two, and we have our final answer, 6 uh, plus minus square root of uh, 6 plus minus square root of 6. So these are two roots, these are x first and x second, so let's gather all the knowledge together and let's write uh, that our x first equal to 6 plus square root of 6, and x second equal to 6 minus square root of 6. And one really important moment, because in the beginning we had our question and we had x and y. We know x, how can we find our y? Of course, we need to remember, we need to learn this expression. So y equal to 12 minus x, yeah? So we have but, but, but y equal to 12 minus x. And right now let's find our, our y first and y second, because we need to have a pair x, y and x second and y second. So y first equal to 12 minus x first. 12 minus x first. And y second equal to 12 minus x second. Okay? And right now let's solve it for y first, for example. So y first equal to 12 minus x first. So 12 minus 6 plus square root of 6. Okay, y first equal to uh, 12 minus 6 minus square root of 6. So 12 minus 6 equal to 6, and we have uh, y first equal to 6 minus square root of 6. And we have really great root for us because our uh, roots are, our pairs are symmetrical. We have 6 plus square root of 6 and 6 minus square root of 6. And with 100% probability, right here we have absolutely the same logic, but let's check it. So y second equal to 12 minus x second, okay? x second equal to 6 minus square root of 6, 6 minus square root of 6. And we have y second equal to 12 minus 6 and plus square root of 6. And we have absolutely the same thing as we had before, but with the, with the positive sign. So 6 plus square root of 6. And as I said before, we have two symmetrical pairs. And let's gather all the knowledge together and let's write it in a new line. Let's write all of these pairs. So our answer, our answer to this question. So first pair x first, y first, and second pair, x second, y second. First pair, we have 6 plus square root of 6, and 6 minus square root of 6. And second pair, 6 minus square root of 6, and 6 plus square root of 6. Okay, so we have right here our answer, and in the end, let's check it. I'm going to write our question from the beginning, so x plus y equal to 12, and xy equal to xy equal to 30. Okay, one really important moment because addition and multiplication are really great mathematical operations because we can change um, change these variables by positions. We can write that x plus y equal to 12 and y plus x equal to 12. And the same thing right here, xy equal to the same as yx. So 2 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 2. And right here, 3 times 4 equal to 4 times 3. So that's why, because we have our root, we have our pairs, uh, our, our pairs are symmetrical, we have absolutely the same pairs but different positions. So this that's why we don't need to check both of these uh, roots. We're going to check only, for example, these parentheses. So first of all, let's check addition. So 6 plus square root of 6 plus 6 minus square root of 6 equal to equal to 12. Right now we're going to cancel this square root of 6, this one. So we have 6 plus 6 equal to equal to 12. Yeah, this is our mm, proof for a first equation. And at the end, let's check our product. So we have parentheses. 6 plus square root of 6 and times 6 minus square root of 6. And this one need to be equal to 30, yeah, as uh, from, from here, from, from the beginning, from definition, yeah. And uh, one really important moment, of course, you can multiply parentheses by parentheses, but this is our formula. This is our formula, mm, which is called difference of squares. Uh, when we have a square minus b square, you can write it as a plus b times a minus b, a minus b. And we have the same and the same logic right here. a plus b, a minus b, a equal to 6, and b equal to square root of 6. So from the beginning, this is equal to difference of squares, a square minus b square. So 6 square minus square root of 6 square equal to equal to 30. And yeah, this is a great expression because right here we have 36 minus square root of 6 equal to 
uh, to the second power. Of course, we're going to cancel everything, so we have 36 minus 6 equal to, equal to 30. And yeah, this is our answer. Addition works great, and multiplication works uh, great as well. And we can easily say that our solution is absolutely great, because our root, our pairs are great, uh, and we checked it before. And one really important moment, of course, you can easily, uh, you can easily test uh, this, this second pair, but you will have absolutely the same thing. You will have 6 minus square root of 6 times 6 plus square root of 6, and right here you're going to cancel this square root of 6, but in a different in a different order. So it's it's a really great uh, trick and quick recommendation. So if you, if you have uh, this type of questions on your exam, you can easily uh, check only one of these pairs, for example, first one or the second one, because addition and multiplication are really great mathematical operations. And 2 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 2, as I said before, but it's not works, it doesn't work with the subtraction. So 2 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 2. And the same thing right here with division. So 2, two times 3 is not the same as 2 divided by 3. So that's why, um, quick recommendation, if you see this addition and multiplication, this is great. If you see division, so you need to, you need to check, you need to prove it uh, also with the, second, uh, with the second pairs. So I really hope you understand what I mean right now. If you still have any questions, write a question, a questions in the comments below. It will be really interesting to read about it. It will be really interesting to exchange information in the comment section. And it's, yeah, this is this is great that we are here, that we are, have a really great community, and I want to say thank you for, for being here, for supporting my content. I want to make um, a lot of content and uh, different challenges, mathematical and math olympiad questions, so I want to say thank you for, for everything, for being here. It's much input, it's a lot of um, support from you, and my main goal is to make math clear and understandable for everyone, and you you help me with, with, with it, and uh, I want to say thank you for, for being here, thank you for everything, and yeah, take care of yourself. See you in the next videos and have a great day.